Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. My third time recording, because every single time, OBS screwed me up. So hopefully everything goes work good good this time. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be using Zethia, Galazethia, the brand new anniversary unit. I'm going to be using her in two stages and kind of playing with her. She's still pretty early on, so I'm actually just kind of screwing around and getting used to her and getting a feel for her. I think she's pretty good, actually, and I'm if even someone like me who has a very shaky grasp at best sometimes when it comes to this game, I think she could end up being extremely good in the future, so... That's going to be today's video. Hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. It supports the channel. It helps me out a whole bunch. Makes me a happy camper, and you can keep on doing that, and I'll be happy. Um, you can comment. Tell me exactly how you feel about her. How <laughs> Did you go all out for her already? Are you waiting for the free multis? Are you already using stuff? Were you super lucky and got her first multi? Tell me basically anything. I will gladly hear you. And you could sub to me if you want more videos featuring me. I do a bunch of, uh, bunch of stuff. So let's go into it. God damn, that's a long dial drive. I've had to do this so many times, dude, you have no idea. <laughs> anyway, this is what I got on here. I figured dragon damage because I remember seeing it on the news saying that it's based off of, like, you're actually summoning Galabahamut. So that makes me think that he would apply dragon damage. But every other kind of character like this, like Joker and I think um, not in Tiki, isn't actually affected by Dragon Prince. So I don't know if this actually works out for her, so let me actually change stuff. But I've been using this kind of build, and it's been working out pretty good for me. So let me see if I can get find some crit. Let me pause and get some crit stuff. Alright, this is what I got for now, and this is what I'm going to be using here. Obviously for Nihility content, a lot of the double buff stuff isn't going to work out, but for the stuff I'm using, it should work out pretty good. And I haven't really had an issue with what I'm doing here now, but obviously it can be better. Not saying that there isn't a better way out there, it's just what I'm using right now. Feel free to tell me what you're using or some better stuff to use as well. So let's go into Mercurial first. Um, so first of all, I did check it off screen. Um, if Gala Zethia is not in the first slot, she will summon Gahabalhamit Bahamit. So it might actually be better to put her in the third slot or something or another slot and just have her and Joker summon Arsene and Bahamut and then someone else can have their freaking dragon. <laughs> it's so kind of funny that you can just do that, but okay, let me move into it. So this is kind of what she does. Um, the reason I wanted to get some crit stuff is because she actually has a crit amp that happens and she gives to the entire team um, depending on her combo. Her combo is pretty good, as you can see here. This move will auto use automatically move forward. When you dodge, she'll attack. You can see here. And as long as the only way to actually effectively not do this is to dodge right away. But if she keeps doing it, she'll just keep I will prevailing you in the face. And her combo keeps going forward. So let me now summon Gahabalman. And he's going to completely kill Ray. This is about the when I started this, I was at 50. And it's been very easy to climb forward because once Bahamut is summoned, this man has no chance. He stands zero chance, as you can see here. Um, and I think for the most part, I've been able to basically beat Ray in under a minute every single time. And I think this is no exception. <laughs> really good. I can't imagine how much more damage you'd be dealing with. Yeah. Yeah, I believe in you, girl. Let's move on to another fight, huh? But you can see there's some of her stuff going around there. And I think a lot of her movement stuff is pretty interesting because the combo continues from when you use the uh, dodge. So, very different, very, very new kind of unit. And I don't feel like she's um, lesser for not having two skills is the word I was trying to use. Here we go here. I'm doing expert because master, I just need to completely figure about back my team if I'm going to do master against him. You can tell that I've been doing a lot of stuff because my stamina is gone. All right, let's go into Cayenne. So far, so good, man. No real glitches or bad stuff happening thanks to OBS, so that's good for me. I will be your extinction. Sure, dude. I will teach you the way of evolution. So yeah, just if you do a dodge twice, she won't do the attack. So you have to do it once, let it happen. Once. 
Now here's the crazy thing. You can just attack him during this. That's what I found. Which is pretty funny. I'm sure there's other units that do it, but I just thought it was funny. Alright, time to summon my boy, Bahamut. That should be able to kill him, this part of him very quickly. Yep, and he will. And the great part about this is that when he's dead, I can recall Bahamut. There we go. Save him up for... There we go, and now he's going to die again. And there goes OBS. Completely forget to unpause any of that. Okay, so you guys at least have been seeing what I've been dealing with. All right. Let's continue on. Apologies for that. Thank you for sticking forward if you saw through that. Okay, let's go. Hopefully it wasn't too long. But you can at least see what I've been dealing with tonight. He's not going to live very much longer. Yeah, no. He is dead. I also realized that the Mim move is not going to work out for Zethi either because I don't increase Dragon Gauge. Come on, kill, kill. There he is. There he goes. Let me see if my prince made the difference and I was able to beat my old time. Because my previous time was with my other Zethia build. But let's see how this one worked out. Yeah. All right. Sounds good to me. No, not yet. Yeah, this unit is really damn good, and I think she's going to probably work out pretty good in the, um... I, forget the, I was going to call it the Nihility stuff. I mean, Nihility content in general, but Rise of the Sinister Dominion is what I was looking for. So, I think it's Eldless? Which one is hers? I actually don't, I don't think a Shadow Forward one is here yet, right? Because this one is Light Units. It has to be a Sura, right? It has to be a Sura. Yes, it is a Sura. I'll be interested to see how she does in a Sura, but I think she's gonna do well. But yeah, that is today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I can't wait to use more of her, kind of see what's going on here. I want to swim in whipped cream. I approve that. I kind of want to see the strut, which is the most important part to any character. I need to wait a minute. This is the wrong song. Where's my... This is not, how can I enjoy this game this way? Where is it? Cinderella Step is good, but it's anniversary time, baby. I'm not used to this manner of festivity. Wait, wait for we'll it. We'll be together forever, my darling. We'll be to, we'll be to. Come on, everybody. Let's celebrate. I want to swim in whipped cream. All right. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, as always, you can leave a like, comment, tell me about what you feel about Zethia, I sure and I sub sub subscribe to me if you want more of me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good day, have a good night, and goodbye. Strut! Strut with anniversary not. Oh, damn it. It's gone. The strut is gone. Anniversary eat. <laughs>